Greetings friends, this is Survival Doc. Today I'm going to show you how you can feed your chickens for free. And what I'm talking about is dumpster diving. Americans throw away 80% of their food. Every grocery store in this country has a dumpster and every single day there is a lot of food. Every day there's a hundred pounds or more food just dumped in each one of those dumpsters. And I can't talk about food where the, uh, the expiration date has expired, uh, but you can find anything there in the dumpster. Um, any day of the week, uh, if you happen to be at a grocery store where they lock their dumpster up, then just go down the street to the next grocery store because uh, all of them have it. What you're going to need, or at least what is recommended, you need a tub to put it in, good rubber gloves, and rubber boots. And sometimes it's handy to have a ladder to get inside this thing. Old watermelon. Chickens love watermelons. This is just a partial sample of what I picked up today. It took me about five minutes to throw this, not even five minutes to throw this all in my bin. Usually I find a lot of vegetable matter. Um, today was meat day and I got a lot of meat too. The chickens are, are omnivorous. They'll eat anything. They'll even eat other chickens. Now what I'll do I'll just throw these whole chickens to the maggot bucket. We'll turn those into maggots for the chickens. I'll put these aside, give them one of these each day. Uh, this meat, I've got way more meat than my chickens can eat in a day or two, so I'm going to be putting this uh, much of this in my freezer. This right here will be Rio's dinner tomorrow night. Look at that. beef sirloin tip roast look at that I figure I probably got about the best fed dog in the county <laughs> this is Rio's reward for going with me today so you can, you can see you can save a lot of money on your dog food too and I know people who eat um, out of uh, dumpsters. There's a lot of good food in uh, dumpsters. And in case you're wondering, uh, yes, I feed raw meat to my dog. There's nothing better for them. Dogs are, dogs don't, uh, their digestive system is not designed to eat cooked meat. Certainly not designed to eat grains. It's the best thing for them right here. Raw meat. Look at that. How many dogs do you know eat like that? Look at them go for that raw hamburger meat. Hamburger is perfect because it's all ground up in bite-sized pieces, just perfect for chickens. This is my maggot bucket. I'll put the whole chickens in here. Flies will crawl through these holes, lay eggs, and in about a day or two, maggots start falling through these holes. I have holes in the bottom too and the uh, best thing to do is to just hang this thing inside the chicken coop let the maggots fall right on the ground and the chickens will gobble them up 
one thing you do have to be aware of is throwing a lot of food like this in the chicken pen does draw flies and so you want to have this where it's not really close to your house um, and you also might want to put some fly traps out too but we haven't found the flies to be too big of a problem and the other problem is if you leave this food in here overnight predators that come along at night like raccoons will try to get in there when they see good food in there especially meat raccoons will actually tear through chicken wire to get at it so what I do is I feed them this food earlier in the day so that they can have it eaten up by dark and then when darkness comes and it's time to put the chickens away I will pick up whatever is left there and put it in a bin with the top on it and then just set that inside the chicken coop until tomorrow um, I can't leave a lot of food in here because I already twice I've had raccoons break into my chicken coop at night and it's just a bother to have to repair the fence after they do that and every grocery store has a dumpster behind it and every grocery store throws away a hundred pounds or more of good food every single day like I said I know people who eat out uh, eat food out of their uh, dumpsters now for me I just use it to feed my animals and it saves me a huge amount of money because chicken feed is expensive this is survival doc reminding you be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced.